When you started the first year, you played two series, two, three and outs, and you're gone. Talk about how that felt and your journey since then and what it feels like now. Uh, well, uh, obviously, from the, from the start, you know, uh, the first game uh, I had a low. Uh, two series, I was out, they pulled me out. Uh, throughout the rest of the season, there was a lot of highs, a lot of lows, uh, a lot of upside downs, a lot of things to, to learn from, a lot of things to build on. Uh, and to end it on something that's so high as this, as, as, as a big time Egg Bowl win, is, is phenomenal to see where we started and what we've been through to come out strong like this. Talk about the way y'all guys imposed your will in that first half on the ground. Uh, well, line was, was blocking their butts off. Uh, Ayers, Ayers and the rest of the running backs were, uh, were running extremely hard, extremely well. Um, and they, just, they couldn't tackle them. Really, it was just uh, it really kind of goes to all to our offensive line. Yeah, they they played their butts off today, and they, uh, they they really really showed out. Was there a point you figured that yes, we can run on these guys successfully and consistently? Uh, first series. What's it like to be running free on this field in this game? Uh, I mean, it, it's it's a phenomenal feeling. I mean, it, it's always great when you're when you're running and no one's around you. And, uh, to do it in a big time game like this and uh, in front in front of this crowd to uh, kind of kind of do that is. Uh, what are the emotions you're experiencing now? First starting the Egg Bowl, get the win, get the Egg Bowl back for the first time in two years. Uh, I mean, I, I, th I still think it hasn't really set in yet. Uh, but I'm sure whenever it does, I'll be I'll be jumping around with joy. Your first season as a full, full time starter. What's this season been like for you? Is, what were your expectations coming into your first year? Uh, you know, I, I, obviously I expected to, to come in and, and play very well. And, you know, at times I did that, at times I didn't. But like I said, there's been a lot of ups and downs, uh, a lot of things to learn from, and I'm going to take that into the offseason. What did the offense talk about at halftime? Uh, just, you know, we're just, we're just going to keep running we're running. Uh, we're not going to change anything. We're, we're just going to, we're going to keep moving forward. We're, we're going to keep going because, I mean, what we're doing is working, so we're not going to change anything. Take anything and then running over that Egg Bowl trophy. Where does that rank that moment in your career? That's, uh, that's definitely up there in the, in the top five moments of my life, I think. Uh, that, was, that was awesome. That was absolutely unbelievable. Now that it's over, you know, it's over. Yeah. It's how difficult was it, you know, playing with Shadow Jack Prescott? Every week's people were comparing to you, and do you think you're finally, you know, distance yourself from Dak and kind of create your own identity? Uh, well, I mean, to an extent, Dak Prescott really was Mississippi State football for, for a long time. And uh, to, to be the guy that came in after him, you know, Obviously, you knew everything you did was going to be compared to him. Uh, every every mistake or every or every triumph was, was going to be compared to what he did, and, and I don't know if that's ever really going to change. Or I mean, maybe who knows? He was, he was a phenomenal player, so if you know, keep comparing me to him, then I'm doing something well. How much of your runs were read off? What were you reading off of? Which is decision to keep and go? Uh, just just different things. Uh, leverage on the outside or. or uh, in crushing in, a backer kind of playing inside on the line, you can pull and get around the edge. 